are you? I'm Chris Rose, Christopher Rose. Uh, yeah. Is Christopher Rose Chris Rose? A Barbadian Canadian producer. Barbadian yeah. Canadian. Yeah. yeah. So everybody, where are you? Barbadian Canadian. Uh, my mother's Canadian. Oh, your so, mother's Canadian. Yeah. Were you, you I, were raised here? I, I was. Yeah, I was raised in Barbados. Okay, yeah. So, so yeah. why should Bajans know about you? Um, I don't really think Bajans sh should know. It's it's up to them to know about me. But I mean, they. I, I think I have a pretty extensive catalog of okay. uh, international productions. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you say you say you're a producer. Yeah. Um, okay. What kind of music do you produce? I produce anything. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, I guess a lot of people would say that what I make is trap. Yeah. Hip hop, that type of stuff. Okay. But I, I I'll make anything. Okay. So you you you, you don't want to be pigeonholed into anything. Yeah. Any exactly. Sound. Definitely. Okay. I get that. I get that. So from my research, I see that you have a musical background. Yeah. Um, could you give the people some insight into that background? Well, um, both of my parents play steel pan. Um, I would say that I play steel pan straight out of the womb. Um, I started playing piano at three, played violin at four. I was in youth orchestra, I was in steel orchestra, I was in every orchestra. Oh, so, yeah, 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 young Vivaldi. I wouldn't even say that because, to be fair, I hated every <laughs> orchestra thing. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it, yeah. Oh. Like you, that music has been a part of your life from the time yeah, you were born. part of my family, man. Okay. Yeah, every, every that, one of your family. Yeah. Uh, have you been involved in any um, of the cultural shows here? Nifka, Nifka? stuff like that. Um, I did Nifka at seven. Oh. Um, did Nifka at nine. I did Nifka at thirteen. I did Nifka like I, I would say every two years. Yeah. Um, it was a big thing when I did it at seven. Like everyone was freaking out. I think I remember. I think I remember that video. Yeah. You were playing Super yeah. Right? Yeah. Like. Yeah. I guess everybody cared about that. Oh, so it was a big deal. Yeah. Seven-year-old prodigy. Yeah, something like that. But um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Nifka, that type of stuff. Awesome. So how did you make the jump from classical trained music into production? Uh, it's when I left Barbados to go study in St. Lawrence. Um, I just had a MacBook. I just downloaded Logic Pro. My dad bought me a mini keyboard. Just something to pass the time. It wasn't even. It wasn't even like I was trained to be a producer. It's just something to do, you know. Um, why, why would you start with logic? Why would you do that to yourself? I mean, you go for what looks the fanciest, right? Yeah. And that's that's pretty much what I did. Plus, you, Fruity Loops wasn't really available okay. on MacBooks back then. At the time. Yeah. So yeah. I just went with this you was, know. This was 2012. 11. 2011 is when I downloaded, but okay. like yeah. And but you're, you're a Fruity Loops guy now? Yeah, yeah, I use Fruity Loops straight through. All yeah, the way through? 100%. Yeah, we find you, you think that's like, like better than everything else? I mean, the doll you use is the doll you use, you know? Wow. Like, whatever you use to make beats is whatever you use to make beats. I personally use Fruity Loops because it's just easy. Yeah. Like, everything's right there. I've seen, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen a lot of the bigger names that yeah. actually use Fruity Loops as well, like Metro Boomin and other, other, big, other big producers. Yeah. Also. So it's obviously not just um, the underground back door for a yeah. dog choice yeah well, i mean it's it's like um i would say because of how it came about like because everybody in that time frame like 2009 on everybody just hard for you loops so i mean if you make it it's, you're not just gonna switch up and be like okay i'm gonna use ableton no like if i was making hits on free loops i'm gonna keep making hits on free loops so it's pretty much you know so you have any you have, you have any preferences though with regard to the your midi um equipment um I just use what right now I just have I have two forty nine keys and then a small travel MIDI. I personally like using the bigger ones because you just have much more room to like play your stuff, but it doesn't really matter. Just make whatever you want to make. How do you think your classical training would have influenced your production to be honest? I wouldn't really say that it affected my or impacted my production. Um, I guess you can make an argument for it being instrumental in how I create melodies and stuff like that but like with trap and hip-hop having so like I wouldn't say like the melodies are really intrinsic like they're not like that intricate like it's really just loops so it really doesn't really make a difference but I guess you can make an argument for it having some sort of impact yeah so you wouldn't say it gives you an advantage over other um, producers that don't have that class I mean people out here making hits after downloading through loops the day before right so yeah, it's true. It, it, you don't necessarily need to be a uh, Beethoven type composer exactly. to come and make great music today. Exactly. Uh, we, we could look at Kanye West for example, he's not classically trained but he's someone with an extensive catalogue and he's critically acclaimed as a producer. Exactly. Uh, 
So, how would you say? Um, what would you say is your style, to be honest? Um, I don't really have a style per se. I would say um, uh, people classify it as trap. People classify it as hip hop. I just make what I want to make, and whatever I get up when I'm done, get up from the computer. That's what it is, you know. Okay. So. Yeah. So, with regard to producers, who would you say are some of your biggest influences? Kanye West, Just Blaze, Knife Wonder, um, Jay Dilla. It's a lot of boom bop producers. Oh, just like, yeah, just because like, of the samples, you, not even the drums, just like the sample flips, anything okay. like that. But the most influential to me have been like um, Kanye, Just Blaze, just Kanye's sample flips, his ability to just make. I mean, even like Kanye, no, yeah. like his ability to bring together people yeah. that like he doesn't even produce, he doesn't, like, yeah, yeah, you know, he actually doesn't produce as much. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's the coordinator. Right, exactly. Like if he wants, like even on like Father Stretch My Hands, you know, like he brought in Metro Boomin just to do high hats. Yeah, like that's that's stupid crazy to me. Yeah, that, 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 you know? that shows his influence. That, right, that, that, that definitely shows that he's someone that you should emulate with regard to um, career growth. Yeah, but you you don't necessarily always have to be hands on with your music. Definitely not. Uh, so, with regard to your current sound, um, you said you're currently in Toronto, um, not Toronto, St. Lawrence. No, I'm in St. Catharines, Catharine, Niagara, okay. Niagara Falls, yeah. Okay, and how has Canada influenced your sound? Um, well, because, you know, I'm making music with Canadian people, so you have to make what they're accustomed to, what they want. So yeah. I guess like, the sound has gone under, like, you know, a little construction because of that. But at the end of the day, I still make what I want. Like, if you want me to come back and tweak it to sound how you want, then, you know, yeah. that's what I, I would say. Like, my style hasn't really evolved. It's just, like, as I learn free loops more and more, there's more things that I can do that I'll put into the beat. Yeah. But I still think I made the same type of beat for, like, okay. 2011. So you, you, which do you prefer? You prefer to make your beats from scratch, or do you like to flip samples? Which, 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 which do you prefer more? Um, nothing beats a good sample flip. Um, when you can chop up a sample and you just hear it change into what you know the beat that you want, that's cool. I like making things from scratch too, but it, it really depends on the mood I'm in, you know. Yeah.